Today I'd like to share with you how I make completely unique DIY silicon moulds for resin. This silicon rubber is really easy to use and we can make our resin moulds with it. We need a container to cast in and you can use something as simple as a plastic cup. It's not always easy to find the exact right size so I have this little gadget that is really useful for making the exact size I need for my silicon mould. The parts clip together really easy to the exact size and it really is sturdy and doesn't let any of that silicon rubber seep out. You can make it smaller or bigger or long and thin. I've seen people hot glue these down onto the base but it's not needed. All you need is some double sided tape all the way around the rim. Just make sure it's all intact around the edges and then you need a piece of acetate or some other tape that I'm using here to seal the base. I find this method much quicker, easier and less messy than using the hot glue and other methods. You could turn this over now and attach it to some plastic but I'm going to add the tape. If you do attach it to something else make sure you don't attach it to silicon because we're pouring the silicon into this and the silicon would stick to a silicon. So you can use plastic or as I'm doing here using this tape and making sure it's firmly attached all the way around with no gaps. I like to use this tape so I have a sticky base to stick my item to. For this resin project I designed and made some of my own egg cups and I'll show you how I made them later in the video. But for this you can find your item in wood, acrylic or plastic and you can recreate these in this mould. These are plastic items and one thing I must say about these is add a little bit of tape to the base to secure them more firmly otherwise I'll show you what happens. We can fill up the mould housing with as many pieces as we can so that we really utilise that space. This silicon rubber is a really fun project, just make sure you do it in a well ventilated area, wear some gloves and protect all your surfaces. I have a special mask that I wear for all my resin projects as well. We then measure equal parts of A and B and this is best done by weight. When doing this for the first time I recommend doing a smaller, shallower mould just to test it out and see how you get on yourself. That way you'll learn the process and then be more confident when you come to do larger scale items. I use a wooden stick to thoroughly stir these two parts together. It normally says on the packet between about 3 and 5 minutes to do this. If you plan to use UV resin then I recommend to leave the mould clear but I like to add a little bit of colour as I'm going to be using epoxy resin with these. I've added some mica powder to this and I find adding a little bit of colour really makes it easier to see if it's fully combined and mixed. Once the silicon mould mixture is fully combined we can take it and very gently pour it into our mould housing. Pouring a nice thin and steady stream works best and see the vessel fill up. I always use this particular silicon kit and I'll put all the links in the description below if you'd like to take a look at purchasing any of these. It combines really well and pours really easy and really is bubble free. I didn't make quite enough to take it over my items so I really quickly just mixed a little bit more and there's no problem doing that, I could just add it in over the top with no issues at all. I just took maybe 5-10 to 10 minutes to make it and with this kit you have plenty of time to allow you to do that. Ideally if you can work out the right amount from the beginning but it's no big deal if you don't. We just now need to leave it to sit and cure for about 24 hours. I want mine nice and level so I'm reaching out to my levelling table and placing it on here to cure overnight. And so overnight it has cured. I did have a few little issues and I'll show you those at the end. But we easily just take off the tape, remove the clips to release our brand new ready to use silicon mould. See how easily the sides come away and there's no mess and not much to clear up afterwards. 
ready to use this mould housing gadget for your next project. They're not expensive either and I love a really good reusable product. We only have one of the egg cups here and I'll show you my error just nearer the end but we need to now release this plastic and so we can get a knife and cut around here or it just easily does actually pop out. So you just need to push very gently but slightly firmly and evenly and remove our plastic or if it was your piece of wood or acrylic you can do it the same like this. Just remove this from here to reveal our mould. And I'm now really excited to turn these egg cups into something even more special. I'm using a two-part epoxy resin for this and just like the silicon rubber we measure the same amount of A and B and stir them together. I'm using a silicon cup for this as it's easier to clean up at the end and it's reusable. The shape of the cup is just the one I had on hand and so grabbed it to use it. I'm adding a little bit of heat underneath with this electric heat pad which is nice and easy to use and really handy. Adding a little heat helps it eliminate some of the bubbles and then when curing helps it dry and cure faster too. I leave the epoxy resin just for five minutes to help all those bubbles release and then I'm going to add some colour and I'd like to add for the first one of these egg cups I'd like to add some gold leaf. You can see the heat there curling, curling the gold leaf up and so I'm going to add this with a little pair of tweezers and then we stir this up and we can pour this into our rubber mould. You can add all kinds of embellishments into the epoxy resin, all kinds of colours. I've still got my heat pad here making sure I've got my silicon mat over it protecting it and I've brought in our silicon mould and we're ready to pour slow and steady as before. You can have such fun with resin and be really creative with it, I absolutely love it. Once the resin is poured completely to the top of the resin mould, we can leave it to cure for at least 24 hours. You can make your moulds from wood, plastic, metal, resin, acrylic and maybe a few more items, but I wanted to make mine completely unique, so I designed and created these egg cups. And if you wondered how, I designed them first of all on Tinkercad, and if you're interested I made a separate tutorial on how I designed these to run them through my 3D printer. I absolutely love having a 3D printer and I'm able to make lots of unique and bespoke items using this. I got this from Geek Buying and I'll put the link in the description below. There's lots of different options available and they're not as expensive as you think so why not treat yourself or ask for a special gift. I know they're not for everyone but for those of us that love our gadgets this really is a fantastic piece of equipment and this one works so smoothly and beautifully. It's a creality and I absolutely love how it works. And here you see my egg cups printing out really beautifully. And just think of all the creative projects you could do using lots of the techniques in this video. I have some little files and I like to file them down just a little bit just because I'm turning this into the mould. If you have a slightly rougher surface to the plastic or it's a little bit matte then it does actually make the resin really quite matte but this is almost cured now and I'm going to try and pop it out of our silicon mould. I think you can see it's slightly on the soft side still. I should have left it maybe another 12 hours to completely cure but how wonderful is that? I've turned our little mould into something really beautiful and I'm going to pour lots more of these and test out some different colours and see how we get on. Here we have some of the more basic shapes to make some little dice out of these. As you can see this is how it would have turned out lovely and shiny if we'd have had a really smooth mould but this is a slightly matte version and it works great. I'm going to make some more of these and so to speed up the process I have this speed curer. I simply place these in here, turn it on and this reduces the drying time from the 24 hours down to anywhere between 1 and 4 hours so it really does speed up the process. 
As I leave those to cure, let me show you what started to go wrong with my 3D printed objects. These are slightly hollow inside, so I found they floated to the top if I didn't stick them down with that extra tape. I really should have learnt this from my test piece as this little bunny did float to the top, but then I thought quickly and I turned, let it turn the other way around, add a little tape and then that did pop out and work. And so I can recreate those bunnies over and over again. Likewise I created more of these egg cups and I'm absolutely thrilled with how they've turned out and I love them. And I hope that's inspired you to have a go at some silicon mould making. I'm currently looking at some methods to make my 3D printed item even smoother to make a really shiny finish so we'll see in another video if I can make that happen. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.